Well, I figured I'd start all my detours in Karakor, Louisiana. That's where it all started for me, born and raised. And that's what's next. All right, it's actually called St. Peter's, but this is kind of Main Street, Garrett Row. So since we're gonna be doing detours, I figured a great place to start detours is where all the detours probably will start. It's Carrick Row, Louisiana. And we're coming out to have breakfast, check out the town, and get really disappointed because they're cleaning the water tower and it doesn't say Carrick Row on it anymore, but we'll deal with that later. So being 40 something years old, 40 years ago, this was all different. This was just houses, a couple of tiny businesses. Now for all you dirty money folks out there, yes, we have a St. Peter. <laughs> I had a bunch of friends that lived in all these as houses. That's where businesses. I lived. Senior year of high school. Where? In this right house? Right there. Oh, yep. there we go. Lived right here, back when there used to be a restaurant across the street. If you're from Karen Crow, you'll remember Paul's p -Row. Now it's uh, just Paul's front yard. <laughs> so, Karen Crow, Karen Crow, or however you want to say it, is based off of Buzzardville because there's a Karen bird. You can Google that. This area used to be covered in those birds, which they still fly around and make bok bok noises at you all day. It was because of the Karen birds, and they called this Karen Crow. That's how the name got here. And now they have a really cool mural. So it's really cool because it's like the building is painted on the building. This is actually just painted. It's not actually a sign. Kind of cool. I was about to go touch it. Stop touching it. <laughs> <laughs> That little building over there used to be the donut shop in the public library. And this used to be the fire station, which then turned into City Hall. And this little area where the fire station used to open up, and now they built this really cool monument. So we have both of our fathers chilling in here. So the Karen Crow Veterans Memorial, 2014. There, there he is. Yep. CW4. Yes, 43 years of service. My dad is a freak. Where? Oh, there he is. So, yeah, it's kind of cool to have both of our fathers in here. So if you've never been down here or you haven't been around Karen Crow in a while, stop by. Oh. Bon now look, we live about a mile and a half, almost two miles from here. And ever since I was a little boy, I could hear these bells chiming from the house. Well, if you're gonna come to Karen Crow, you gotta come to the Bus Stop Bistro because they started out as a burger joint in a little school bus. Then they kind of upgraded to this nice little house in Karenko. Now you do have to remember that their hours are kind of weird and I kind of messed up a few times trying to come here when it wasn't open and when it was open, but it's worth the wait. But it's always cool to see a business like start from just a bus and move their way up into something cool like this. Hello. Hello. Yes. This way? So the original house was just that side and then they added on all of this into the house before it was ever a restaurant and now you have a nice sun coming in and it keeps you warm on a nice, what, 35 degree morning. An on dewy omelet? Like one day I'm going to be ridiculous here and have the steak and eggs. Hey, I can't afford it right now. So y'all need to subscribe to the channel so that <laughs> I can get steak and eggs for $33. Do you want to order anything? Or you, you ready to order? I think I'm ready. I want the eggs your way. I'll take the same thing, but with wheat. <laughs> Thank you. What do you think of that? Oh my gosh, that's a lot of food. <laughs> the potatoes are ridiculous. They're perfectly cooked today. Yeah. <laughs> So Nikki went to the restroom, but don't tell her. I'm going to eat her last piece of bacon. Dum dum. Nama, 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 nama. Almost tripped. I thought there was another step. Man, how you get oak trees like this? Only in Louisiana, baby. switch to anybody who went to high school down here you'll know this road by memory welcome to Karen Crow High so to inform all of you uh, we went to high school together and this is the place where she had no clue who I was because I was like <laughs> one grade behind her so she was like I don't know this guy the young punk. Well, this is my high school 
we have our bear that they put a fence around. And that's the bear honoring Chad Lyons that passed away in 85. And not many know, but Terran Crow, this is the home of Kevin Falk from the New England Patriots. A couple years older than me, saw him the day he got drafted to the NFL. It's a cool day for all of Terran Crow to celebrate. What's your best or worst memory here? First day of class, our freshman year. I was so scared, I was so nervous. Oh my God, it was like awful and amazing at the same time. My memories are not the same as hers. <laughs> I remember a lot of pretty girls like Nikki and others turning me down here. Yeah. But she didn't talk to me either because I was really short. Couldn't she was like, <laughs> couldn't find me in the crowd. <laughs> Class of 76 sucks, class of 97 was better, class of 96, nah, I let them slide. Look, they got a big old gazebo now. They fancy. Man, just like when I was back in school, I'm a rebel. Oh yeah, my nigga left that. But there's not a whole lot to Karen Crow, so that's what you get. Okay, just because I have the channel, I'll take this little detour right here. And just because I like detours. <laughs> Johnny Deuce said, badass bikes. I promise you, if you made it to this part of the video, do not look away because I have no clue what this jackass is gonna say. So when I was growing up, this was Karen Crow Auto Parts. They had an auto parts store in here and that's where we bought everything we needed. Man, they got some bikes up in here, yeah? Johnny Deuce! All right, this is where it gets weird. So Stan, what's up, so Stan? Say hi, Johnny Deuce. Hi, Johnny Deuce. Oh, your pool table's gone. I had to get rid of the stripper pole for the pool table, which was a very tough decision. <laughs> and then I got rid of the pool table because then the bicycle started showing up. See, people just show up here and be like, hey man, you want this? Oh, yeah. And they just give him stuff like... But they know I'll, I'll fix it up or get it running. Phone booth? That is a phone booth. You, you young kids don't know about this. So, Uncle Harold had like a little... So who's your dad? No, no. I'm going to interrupt no. this conversation uh, for a second because that's the question you always yeah. hear in Louisiana. Well, who's your daddy? <laughs> I have to go to the restroom real fast, but Johnny's little bathroom in his shop is hilarious. What in the hell, Kotex feminine napkins, M&M rubber, Spartan prophylactics, 25 cents. I am not sticking my quarter in here. I'm scared of what might come out. Yeah, Johnny's just a great guy. Just had to pass by. Got a bike or something. Come here. Or if you just want to see all the craziness he has. Look at all your bike. Dusty. Ducati. Oh my Ducati. gosh. Dude, what is that, a 70s? Uh, 59. Oh my what? God. He challenged himself to make it. He made that tricycle up there. Where? Oh, I didn't even see it. And he's not a woman. Maybe he should be. <laughs> he should be. He definitely should be. I see He's a tinker. Very particular, meticulous mechanic. Attention to detail is incredible. Talk about. Yeah. Hundred year old Cypress. Let me get it right. Hundred year old Cypress. Look, that's the wood pile. Oh. So like a mechanic makes this, not even a wood guy. He just does this for fun. Dude Sorry, makes a bicycle. Of all the things, because could you imagine this chain work? Three hundred hours he figures in the chain. Just the chain. Just the chain. He says, he says like three thousand hours. He he's retired, so he doesn't have a clue. Oh my goodness. It's all wood. Everything's wood. There's not a screw or a nail in. Why are you fruit of the looms right here? <laughs> I guess. I guess you want to hear the story behind that. Oh no! When I went to get this motorcycle, okay, went upstairs and stuff, and the place was used for a little while for used clothes. Yeah. Used clothes. Well, the place closed, and they left this massive pile. A brand new underwear. No. Brand new. <laughs> I bought. The, I took the whole thing. I'd use it for shop racks. <laughs> and they also they work out real good when they were running out of masks. You could run them for masks and stuff. Well, I guess I have to go home now. <laughs> That's Caracol, Louisiana, for you. All of like six roads, my little town. But now we got a Walmart and a whole bunch of stuff and a Amazon. Yeah. And all kind of people are moving over here. And there's neighborhoods popping up on every block didn't even know they existed. That's a brand new neighborhood. What's it called? The Cove. They'll still be the homes and the houses of all my friends and people we grew up with. 
privilege of living in small town Karen Crow. I don't care, and I'm doing a U turn in the middle of the street. So I know, like, some of my buddies that live all over the world, they have like really old stuff, but this is really old for us. 1905, this building was built in Karen Crow. We came to Schwanke's and the hamburger steak, chicken fried steak. Yep, we get a chicken fried steak. And of course, they have, you know, Cajun, catfish you know, stuff like that, shrimp platters, fish platters, oyster platters, all the fun stuff that Cajun people eat all the time. Crab claws, gumbo. Oh, I need to try that gumbo here. We're going to have to talk about that later. So I have a water with lemon. It's going to take a lot more lemon to get the flavor out of this water. I'm going to have to say the downtown Caracol water is probably not the best. Like, if you want to heal from problems, I've been drinking this all my life. It tastes like a foot. Okay, so I'm impressed. It's actually here like in eight minutes. Chicken fried steak, potatoes, and mac and cheese. And what is that? That is a club wrap. She's wrapping. How's that wrap, Nikki? <laughs> that chicken fried steak's the size of my head. And apparently the wrap is good because she's making really expressive facial expressions. I guess we'll just go look at Cajun country and see what else we can find around here and keep getting bigger. Till then, go find out what's next. I can't, it's not doing what I wanted it to do. So it doesn't matter if it's a small road trip, long road trip, whatever. It's still a road trip. Still have fun. Uh, welcome to Kierko.